going live. You're live. Awesome. Let's see if it works. What a question. Come on. Okay. One second, guys. Okay, the resolution is correct. Perfect. Okay. It's working. So hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Zombie Army Dead War Zombie Army 4 Dead War on the 1050 Ti, 1650 Super and on the um, RX 570 How are you guys doing? Anyways I'm going to be doing multiple resolutions but first I wanted to clarify for some people if you're interested but there is a Vulcan and DX12 Vulcan in this case seems to run better, so I'll be using the Vulcan this time around. But before that, I need to fix something. I forgot to zoom in in the FPS counter. My bad. Almost there. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, let's keep it like this, so you guys can see what's going on. <laughs> okay, awesome. And we got the FPS scanner as well. What up? What up? 9400F for 2600. The 2600 is usually cheaper, so I'll go for that one in general. 1080p. And on the graphics detail, well, I'm not using any presets, actually, this time around. I'll be using something else. I'll be using a mix between medium, well, medium shadows, low reflections, ultra anti-aliasing, ultra draw distance, and no obscurance fields, no motion blur, no ambient occlusion, and no desolation. Let's change shadows to low, just to see if we can get 60 frames as usual. So let me change the status to 1080p low. This is basically low settings. Yeah, that's fine. So let's very quickly run the benchmark tool once and we'll see what happens. Do you recommend the Vulcan API even though I have an NVIDIA GPU? Yes, of course. In this case, the game runs better on Vulcan, at least for me. So I wouldn't recommend DX12 this time around. But yeah, if you want, I can try DX12 again after doing this slow Vulcan benchmark run oh yeah so far it dropped into the 40s yeah, as you can see there but sometimes the benchmark tools are much more demanding sometimes it's the other way around so let's just wait and see but yeah not looking good on low settings I don't blame them But yeah, it seems to be the way to go if you want smooth frame rates, especially on a game like this that requires a lot of precision. At least in my opinion, with the what's the name of this? With the sniper rifles and all that. So yeah. I have 8 gigs of RAM on for my RX 570. Should I buy another one? Yeah. Okay, average 50 frames per second. But yeah, as you were saying. If you need more RAM, yeah, it will be a good idea to get more system RAM. More games are using more than 8GB, so having 16GB is a good number, at least in my opinion. So let's just go for the campaign. Let's play on medium. And yeah, I don't know anything about this, so let's start right away. Maybe later I'll test the X12 as well, but I tested it before doing this live stream. And the average was similar, but overall the frame rate was higher on Vulcan. So yeah, let me skip this very quickly. Okay, so we're Still now no into the game. The must be the so looking here into the distance, we're getting over 50 frames. That's good enough for me if I'm playing the game. As long as it's over 50 frames, is smooth enough. So... Control to crouch, space for melee attack, and C to do that dead space stomp. Awesome. So let's start right away. Okay, that was terrible. 
Oh yeah, I love these X-ray cams. Pretty awesome. Uh, is it worth upgrading from 1050 to 1650 super? Yes, you should get double the performance basically. So yeah. I made a video comparing the 1650 super with the 1050 Ti, not the 1050. And it was basically double the frame rate, so if you have a, a normal 1050, the non-TI version, expect just double the frame rate, yeah. I should, have, I should have increased the difficulty, the shooting is too easy. There's no bullet drop, it seems. But yeah. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, this is way easier now. Do you think Cyberpunk will be released and playable on the 1650 Super? Yes, of course. I expect it to be playable even on a 750 Ti, even if it's at 720p. Because, guys, it runs on P it runs on PS4 and Xbox One, the, the normal ones. So if it runs on those, it will run on the PC, no problem, on those cards. I would be concerned if that game wasn't releasing on PS4 and Xbox One. In that case, yeah, I would be very concerned. But that's not the case. If it runs on PS4 and Xbox One S, it runs on the cards that you mentioned. Especially on the 1650 Super. It's like a 1060. I would be a little worried about the CPU though. Welcome back. Good to see you're still in one piece. Oh, I have to take ammunition. Good plan. Let's grab it. Oh yeah, so far at the moment in the very slow sections I have been, low settings seems to be enough to be over 50 frames. I will see about that if we get to a more demanding place. What took you so long, eh? I thought we'd have to leave without Is RX 570 future proof? There's no future proof in general. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the 570 is a cheap card that can run many games very well. So I just take, this, I just take it as that, and that's about it. At the moment, a very good purchase. Especially if you go for the 8 gigs version, you can max out textures on pretty much any game. I wouldn't be too worried about it. So if you're focusing on future proofing, I will be going for more than 4 gigs of VRAM at the moment. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know how this works. I should have turned off the, um, the help with the shooting. It makes the game way too easy, it tells me where the bullet is going to drop. So I'm going to try without the help. I'm not hitting anything at all. Never mind, there it is. Yeah, it's double the performance, even. From a 1050 to a 1650 Super, double the frame rate, basically. So yeah. Thanks, Sumanjit. Thank you. <laughs> it's an honor. Alright. And there goes another one. Thanks, and Shuman Anime. <laughs> Oh, stop it, you. Alright. Come on, I, I need a bit horde of zombies. Press E or melee attack. Oh, or melee attack. Gotcha. I can step onto this and break it. Like the Hulk. Okay, got the rat. Do not look behind you. Oh man, I jump scare. Oh, okay. I should have been quicker. Nothing here. I bought RX 570 six months back. Should I upgrade or wait this year? What What is the upgrade you are expecting to get? If it's a 1660 Super or a, I don't know, something of that range, I wouldn't really bother. Unless you're aiming for 1440p or something like that. I mean, it wouldn't be a huge upgrade, that's what I am trying to say. Unless you go for a, I don't know, a 2070 Super or something like that. But at that point, you're probably aiming for more than 1080p. 
So I'll just keep the 570. Really, that's it? <laughs> okay. So as I was saying, I will keep the 570 for now. And once you start being disappointed with newer games on the new consoles, then I would upgrade to something faster. We'll probably have better cards by then at better prices, so don't hurry. Just chill. Thanks, Bruno. A lot of stuff I don't understand. Oh, I have to buy it? Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. More stuff. ¿De cuánto es la descarga de este juego? Son como 39 gigas, creo que pesa. As I was saying in Spanish, this game is a 39 gigabyte download, so be aware of that. The only unfortunate thing at the moment is that it's an Epic Store exclusive, at least for now. So if you don't like those, well, you will have to wait, unfortunately. So yeah, something to clarify. I forgot that this game was releasing, honestly. Very little advertisement. So yeah. Okay, finally, some action. I need a pistol. I'm not hitting anything with this. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, with the fire on screen, I'm, I'm now going into the 50s. No big deal. As long as it's over 50, I'm okay with it. But this is low settings, so... Okay, it's dropping below 50 now. So this is a good place to test it out at the moment. Still not as bad as the benchmark tool. The benchmark tool was like in the mid 40s in some sections. So yeah. Okay, let's give it a try with the sniper rifle. Oh, and the bullets rebound, ricochet, so if you hit the floor, sometimes you hit a zombie. So yeah, pretty awesome. But at the moment, nothing special about the performance, it's just low settings, low 50s, mid 40s. Okay, let's try that out. Yeah, with explosions it drops a little bit, no big deal. Let's crank up the settings, just because reasons. So, let's change the settings to... Let's go to the maximum to see if it stays over 30 frames. So we put shadows on ultra, everything on ultra, no motion blur, thanks. So let's call this 1080p max. Perfect. And let's keep it going. So on max settings, we're getting, okay, 40 frames at the moment. With the fire in the background. Probably going to drop into the 30s when there is more action on screen. Yeah, as you can see now, into the upper 30s on max settings. So this should mean low settings 30 frames on the 750 Ti, basically. On the 1650 Super, this probably means 50 to 60 on max settings, but we'll see in a moment. Be patient. Oh yeah, this is basically hard mode. I'm really into hard mode games, so that's why I'm enjoying it. You guys probably find this very boring, most of you. But yeah, this game is basically hard mode. RTX... Oh man, I'm so lost in the comments. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm unable to read the chat. Yeah, I don't even know... Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're dying. But yeah, so far, you might want to play on medium to low settings if, if you aren't 1080p, smoother frame rates overall. So let's now drop to 900p. 
So this, okay. Let's change this to 900p max settings on the status. It was very clear from the get-go. <laughs> so yeah, this is now 900p on maximum settings, as you can see here, everything on ultra, but no motion blur. I don't really like motion blur, <laughs> especially in games like this. It seems to be like 10 FPS more. Fantastic. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, this is basically smoother control sniper with four at the moment. Boom, headshot. Let's see the explosion in slow motion. Beautiful. Okay, zombies with weapons. That's fine. How you guys? Guys, how to see the TDP GPU with MSI Afterburner? You can see that with hard Hardware Info 64. Oh, I'm sorry. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you probably want to use a tool that NVIDIA made. I don't remember the name, but you can see all the power info there. Pretty useful. And then on the AMD side, you can see it in Whatman, as far as I know. Whoops. Okay, that gives me some health for some reason. Gotcha. Another one, and another one. How many FPS on the 1050? Probably 10 FPS less. Probably. That's what I'm expecting on this one. Then on the on the 1050 Di, that's what I'm testing right now. I was actually expecting this because it runs similar to Sniper Elite 4. So at least that's good news. The same settings, the same everything. You need a pretty much low settings for 1080p over 50 frames with some drops into the mid 40s. So yeah, that's basically Sniper Elite 4, at least in my memory. That's what I remember. <laughs> but the game looks a little better than Sniper Elite 4 so far. And it, it's smoother to control. Come on. Gotcha. I probably don't need to kill, kill this many zombies, but I'll do it anyways. A blood zeal, whatever that is. Oh yeah, so far 900p seems to be the best way to go at the moment. But yeah, as you can see on max settings here when there is detail in the distance, I'm seeing basically a big chunk of the map at once. It drops into the mid 40s. So yeah, on 1080p this will be basically 35 FPS. So let's try lowering some stuff and see if we can brought it up to 60. As far as I remember, on Sniper Elite 4, lowering the reflections to low helped quite a bit. As you can see, we went from 49 in the menu to 52, and then the shadows as well. So let's lower the shadows to medium to keep some extra dynamic shadows. Then tessellation, maybe due to the amount of zombies that helps. I don't like removing ambient occlusion, so I will keep it and I'll disable off screen fields. So consider this a mix between, yeah, pretty much medium settings because of the some of the effects I've removed. So I'll call it mid, mid high, whatever. So that's, that's what this is. I kept an ultra anti-aliasing because it's a post-process solution. Draw distance didn't really make much of a difference. And the textures on ultra as well. That's, yeah, that's not, that doesn't really affect performance. We are fine on the VRAM side. So yeah, let's keep it that way and keep it going. Okay, now we went from the mid 40s into the mid 50s. So we won, we won like 10 FPS. 
And again, as I said at the start of the video, I usually like to stay over 50 frames to play first-person shooters or third-person shooters. Usually over 50 frames, it's hard for me to tell the difference. That's personal preference. Some people, as soon as it goes below 60, they notice it. I'm not one of those people, as you can see. So yeah, I think this is the best settings for this card, at least right now. A mix between medium and high on, on 900p. Ultra textures, ultra draw distance, medium shadows, low reflections, ambient occlusion, no tessellations, no tessellation or obscure fields. Uh, that's about it. So many helmets. Let's go with the rifle. I need to hit something. There goes one. Okay. Advice, raise the difficulty. Medium medium difficulty doesn't seem to be good enough, apparently. Because you get a lot of help with the um, with the rifle. If you press this, you you see where to shoot. It's pretty it takes the challenge away. As you can see. So yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if there is a more ballistically accurate version version of the difficulty mode, like on Sniper Elite 4. But yeah, on medium, the shooting is very easy. It's slightly below the center of the crosshair. As you can see. So yeah. How many FPS on GTX 1050? Again, 10 FPS less, basically. And you have to lower textures to medium or low. On top of the coal carriage. Okay, let's see if this other one also destroys the frame rate. Undead bastards. Gun them down Shoot me. Forward. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Are you sure? Yes, of course I'm sure. No, I'm telling you because I don't know. Of course I'm sure, man. <laughs> Why the hell would I respond if I didn't know? What's the point? Okay, some zombies behind me. No big deal. Let's see what did I hit. If I did hit anything at all. Okay. He's going to walk away from that, basically. Let's just run past them. I'm not sure if I can run past them. Let's see. That's it. Uh, no, I cannot run past them. Gotcha. This was a bad idea. Come on. Let's run away. Put another one right here. Perfect. That's not so perfect. I have a feeling we're not gonna find any survivors. Okay, I can keep going now. Okay, so far, 900p seems to be the best option for this card. The CPU is doing fine. So yeah, let's just swap to 720p max settings. I don't have a lot to see here. So yeah. Alright, so we go for ultra settings. Obscurance fields, tessellation. So yeah, that's 720p ultra, so 720p ultra right now, wonderful. Se ve repiel el 4, si sabelo. Es como sniper el 4 los gráficos. Para mi igual se ve un poco mejor. Ok, so on 720p let's get to a demanding fight, this is nothing. 
Okay, my wish came true. Oh, great. this is not going to end well. Yep, I screwed up on that one. Let's get the rifle. Uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun if you like hard mode. It's fun, but I'm sh I'm sure most people will not pick it up due to the repetition. That's basically what this game is about. So if you like fighting hordes of endless zombies, this is a great way. And this is the campaign, but you can go play the hard mode and just kill, kill, kill. So yeah. But it's fun. It feels way better to control the Sniper Elite 4, so that's a great plus. Sniper Elite 4 in some places, like running, running especially, wasn't that good. At least in my opinion. This one is a little better on the running side, but on the shooting is a lot better. They really took it well. Oh man, I'm dead. You regret that. And you also are not it's not required from you to use the sniper. But you have a way more ammo on the sniper than on the other weapons, which makes sense. They want you to use the rifle. Uh, well, these x-ray cams, I thought I hit him in the head, but I hit it in the arm, the guy behind him. Bye-bye. Oh, no, Two for one. And another one. Let's get away. Bye-bye. Good time to use the rifle. Boom, headshot. Oh yeah, as you can see here, it dropped into the 50s in that bullet cam. So you probably want to lower, probably shadows too high on this one. To stay over 60 all the time. Let's try that out. We'll go into the settings and let's lower shadows to high. Reflections too high. So this is 720p ultra high shadows and reflection Ugh. reflections. So I lowered those two. Those are usually demanding on Sniper Elite 4. Maybe that helps. Okay, it helped very little. But that's all right. Whatever. At this point, it seems to be a thing where the game gets a huge amount of zombies on screen. And you're looking into the rest of the map behind. As you can see, if I look this way, despite the amount of zombies, it's still over 60. So it happened just like at the start of the match. If you're looking at the entire map plus zombies in front of you, that's usually the most demanding place. So yeah, I probably need to do that once I do the final video. This is going to kill me. Bye bye. No. Oh. So yeah, as you can see here, I got the zombies and the entire map behind them. And that's where it drops. Habla en español. Si me en español, respondo en español. Pero el canal es en inglés. Second chance. Call of Duty says hi. Nice. Get out of the way. Almost got him. All right, wonderful. Let's grab some of the loot. No more ammo to pick up. Yeah, what I need is health so far. Good gun. 
Borderlands intensifies. Okay, after this I'm swapping to the 1650 Super. Let me go back to 1080p. So I max it out, at the very least, to close this part. We are around how many minutes? Oh, 30 minutes. Okay, perfect. Let's swap to Ultra. Perfect, 1080p Ultra. So we change the status to 1080p Ultra. And we put this back in. Back in the safe house. Okay, perfect. Just in time. Okay, let's get out of the game. Let's turn off the PC, that's easier. Ha <laughs> yeah. Do you think 1050 Ti i3 7100 is still good? It should still be enough, but I'll try to go with four threads, four threads, four cores or more. So Ryzen is also a good option in that case, especially the 16 Ryzen 5 1600 AF. If that's available to you, $80, pretty good. It should be much better. So here's the card I've been using, the 1050 Ti. Let me, yeah, there we go. This is the card I've been using. So let's now swap for the 1650 Super. One second, guys, if Tina in here. All right. So here's the card I'm going to put now, the 1650 Super. It's very tiny, as you can see, but it has a six pin connector. So give me one second, have to plug it in. There we go. And we now turn on the PC. Bam, done. So where am I? Hello. And for some reason the exposure in the camera is wrong. Ah, much better. Okay, in the meantime, yeah, 1650 Super, exactly. I have to install the drivers now, so <laughs> give me a few seconds to fix it up. 1650 Super. RX 570 coming. Six S. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Ryzen is a good deal at the moment, so I'll go for that. All right, drivers are almost there. Okay, it's working now. Let's jump straight into the game. I still need to load the game, so sorry about that. Sorry in advance. Uh, any better recommendations? This, well, in that case, if the price is close to a Ryzen 5 1600 or 2600, I'll go for that any day over a 9-5-7400. No doubts about it. All right. So now we should be almost into the game. Come on. There we go. Well, thanks. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thanks, man. I love your comments, too. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the 1650 Super. And in the options menu, I have everything ultra, as you can see, except in motion blur. I don't really like motion blur, especially in games like this. So yeah, let's jump first into the benchmark tool just to see how demanding it is. The benchmark tool is what's more demanding than the game itself. So. Perfect reference at the moment. 
and we are okay 80 frames on maximum settings that's great let's see once we get into the fireplaces also one thing to mention that i forgot the 1650 super should also have a big advantage over the 1050 ti in this one due to the vulcan api so it should it has a better compatibility with dx12 and vulcan in comparison to the pascal cards so this is why we're getting more than double the frame rate Basically, that's what that's why what, what I'm thinking at the moment. I mean, the 1050 Ti on low settings was below 50, below 60 frames. It was in the mid 40s here, and this is ultra settings, so <laughs> it's a huge difference, as you can see. So yeah, no doubt this game is going to run fantastic on this card. I'm seeing it right now. This runs worse than the game itself. Okay, here it dropped into the low 50s. No problem. The game shouldn't go that low. Average 76 frames. So let's jump straight into the campaign again. But yeah, 5600 XT or 2060? Hmm, it depends. I mean, personally, I'll go for the 2060. The drivers lately have been pretty bad on the AMD side, at least in my case. On the five, even on the 570, I've been having issues installing the drivers and then deleting them so if you want so if you want it easier on yourself you'll probably want to go for the 2060 but yeah that's my opinion i recommend you watch some other videos so you inform yourself on the differences but my uh, my experience so far has been bad drivers on amd at the moment but some people didn't have any issues so yeah no big deal so yeah, do your investigation. This is my opinion. That's about it. But yeah, okay, so far, no comparison. Ultra settings 1080p were way over 60. We'll see once we get into a bigger amount of zombies. But as of right now, there's no competition at this one. <laughs> I even expect it to run similar to this on the 570. Usually the games on Rebellion's side run better on AMD. They do very good DX12 and Vulcan implementations, so I expect the 570 to not be so far away from this one this time around. Boom, arm shot. Do you overclock? Ah, that's a good question when selecting a card. Most people don't overclock, so I recommend, if you're recommending something to someone, to just think that they don't overclock. Most people don't. That's, that has been my experience on the internet. Most people are not willing to overclock their GPUs. Well, the GPU is more normal, but the CPUs are the ones that people don't usually touch. I mean, people that are not that good, that good, that knowledgeable on the PC side of things. Damn. Even Damn. myself, I don't usually overclock, only if you guys ask me to do so. Or I overclock if I have a lot of GPU power needed to run the game. For example, on the, I don't know, the 750Ti, the overclock is necessary in some games to run them on 1080p. So yeah, it all depends. Nice. Let's go with a shotgun. Stay down. Stay down. 1650s best HDP card. It depends. But yeah, this is doing well. Let's go with a pistol. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a zombie behind me. Dude. Come on. Guess I'm on a roll. Alright. Explosions. I probably need to grab some ammunition. Eh, I'm fine. Okay, now we're looking into the distance. We're still over 60. Good. 
Oh man, I fell with the help on. I'm so embarrassed. I got a 1660 Ti Max Q because of false marketing. What do you mean? What do you mean by false marketing? I mean, if I had a well, I had a 1660 Ti. If I had a 1660 Ti now, I would be pissed due to the 16 1660 Super. It runs almost the same. It's much cheaper, so I'd say scummy marketing tactics. It's a better word. But yeah, I was so pissed when the 1660 Super was released. I almost immediately sold the 1660 Ti. I mean, nobody wanted to watch it after that. Which makes sense, Nvidia just killed it. Same if you had a 1650 non-super, you got screwed up by Nvidia. <laughs> because the 1650 super runs significantly better for $10 more. Ridiculous. They just want people to be pissed off at them. Let's put a mine here, don't mind me. Boom. Okay, stop screaming, dude. Oh, you're dead. Sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> this is such a mess. One by one. Come on, dude. That's it. I should heal. Okay, I couldn't help him. That's fine, he was useless anyways. Alright, alright, alright. Boom. This game is pretty fun so far. But I'm a big fan of horde shooters, zombies and stuff, so... This is the game, the target audience for this game is people like me. So it's probably not fair for most people. <laughs> How do I open this? Nope. They advertised a laptop having a 1660 Ti, but it was a Max Q variant. Oh man, that sucks. That's what I hate about laptop marketing. When I see a laptop anywhere, it almost never, almost never, <laughs> says exactly the specs it has. So yeah, as you're saying, as you're saying, for example, that it has a 1660 Ti. Yeah, but no, not really. It's a Max Q variant. Sometimes I see even some cheap laptops that says that they have a 970 and it's a 970M, or a 950 and it's a 950M. Those are really bad because most people don't know that they're not the same as the desktop counterparts. So many times in my comment section, I have to clarify to people, they are saying, hey, I'm not getting the same performance, but they had a laptop with the M variant GPU. It's just, a, just such a scammy business. I hate that. Okay, let's use the pistol and more accurate. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, significantly more accurate with the pistol for some reason. That's alright. Heck yeah. Saludos desde Chile. Saludos desde Uruguay. Hermano chileno. Espero que esté todo bien por ahí. Okay, so, so far the performance has been just fine on 1080p. Let's go for 1440p because why not? Let's try it out. So now I got 1440. Where's the preview? The specs here. The This is 1440p Ultra. I'm not sure if it will maintain 60s at 1440p. Honestly, on Ultra settings, I mean. But you might be surprised, who knows? Okay. So f as you can see, 1440p. Everything on Ultra. Let's go. Que dice Insta? Todo bien. Salve Insta. ¿Cómo andas vos? Acá streameando, tranqui. Haciendo headshots. 
Pardon, question shots. That's so cool. Okay, so at 1440p, when there's a not a lot going on, we're at 70. Probably once I get there, <laughs> I'm going to drop into the 40s. We'll see. Let's hit many of them at once with the electrified bullets. Whoa. Okay, that works. Is it so tech 1650 super so noisy and full load? Yes, it is. is you probably, perfect. you can probably hear it now. It's right here. It's woo. You might want to underbolt that card if you want to lower the noise. But yeah, I'd rather get a card with a single fan than two very small fans. This one is the latter, unfortunately. Instead of a big fan, it has two tiny ones. And they get very noisy. This is an open test bench, and I can still hear it very, very clearly. So yeah, pretty unfortunate, but hey, what can I do? I already purchased it. But if you don't care about the noise, it's very cheap, so... Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's get the ammo. I forget to loot each time. For some reason it's only pistol ammo. They know I'm very accurate with the pistol apparently. So yeah. What issues do you get when installing AMD drivers? Well, sometimes I install them, everything goes fine. And I try to open the AMD settings, which is the like the NVIDIA control panel, but on the AMD side. And it says that the um, AMD settings version doesn't match with the driver version, which is BS, because I didn't have any driver installed when I installed those drivers. That's one of the things. Other of the things is that when I install the drivers, I get artifacts. So I get a green screen with a lot of lines and the audio breaks. It's like... A noise like that so I have to restart the PC and the drivers are partially installed so to install the drivers again I have to use DDU plus safe mode to delete the AMD driver application as well so that's that's the worst one I run into so far when the driver is not properly installed it's just partially installed that is the worst one so far and some other times the drivers are uninstalled, but for some reason it doesn't want to delete the AMD drivers, the AMD settings application. So yeah, those are some of the issues that drive me nuts, <laughs> basically. So yeah. Opa, gracias Insta por los 150 pesos uruguayos. Muchas gracias, vos. Éxitos. Y también, estuve viendo tus streams el otro día, estuve ahí haciendo lurking, estuve mirando ahí que hacías. Vi que algunos de tus streams estaban marcados como contenido para niños y no me dejaba comentar ni nada, no sé qué onda. Eso lo arreglaste, ¿no? Pero gracias Insta por la donación. Highly appreciated. Lo hablaste con tu esposa, ¿no Insta? <ríe> es tan raro decir eso. Furry money. <ríe> Yay. Para la coca, ¿sabes? <ríe> Okay, where to? Not here, apparently. But yeah, as I was saying before all of this, the, um, the performance at 1440p is still pretty good. We're at the moment over 60 frames, but we didn't get a huge horde of zombies. At least not yet. So I'm waiting for that. Oh, take them. Hell yeah. Ok, it's open, awesome. Si, sí, me di cuenta que si, sí, no puse tu configuración. Dale, después hablamos. Gracias, Insta, nos vemos. Que panches bien. Ok, this means boss fight, there's a lot of ammunition. There's probably going to be quite a bit of zombies in a second. Beautiful day. I mean, when you see a lot of ammo scattered around for no reason, it's basically there's a <laughs> there's a boss coming. Be ready. I'm skipping this. Yep, I called it. 
Yeah, I'm trying to aim for the tank, but I'm pretty terrible at this. Oh, nice. Let's hit him again. One, two. Come on. Cut, really? Perfection. Oh, even more ammo here. Wonderful. One. Nope, that wasn't in the tank. Okay, so far, now that there are more effects on the screen, I can see that it went into the 60s. Still not below that. Still. <laughs> it will be soon, I'm sure. Okay, that was very easy. So yeah, don't play on normal like me, play on hard mode. This is very easy. At the moment, never mind, I'm about to die. <laughs> Let's heal. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Oh, hello. Oh no. I screwed up on that one. Let's take a grenade in there. As you can see now, mid 50s. Still, this is 1440p ultra settings, so way better than expected, at least on this card. Let's try lowering a couple things, but I don't think is absolutely necessary. Let's put medium shadows, medium reflections, and no off screen fields. Let's see how that does. I'm thinking I'm upgrading, gonna get a 3600 with 1650 super this year. Oh, that's nice. That will be very good. You can even stream on that. <laughs> Pretty simple. Nice. So this is 1440p ultra, but medium shadows and RF. Yeah, that doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Let's keep it that way. So we're now back into the game. Okay, yeah, now we're definitely over 60. Never mind, we drop into the mid 50s again. But still, we're in the mid 50s, not in the low 50s, so it's still a win. And there are way more zombies on screen. Fantastic. Yeah, usually when aiming the rifle, I get a drop in the frame rate. No big deal. Alright, where do I start? <laughs> yeah, not in the floor, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not hitting anyone with this, let's go with the pistol. Oh, I still have grenades. Ooh, I'm an idiot. Gotcha. Yeah, way more accurate with the pistol, no doubts about it. Hello. Yeah, that's not the button I'm looking for. Oh yeah, just go from one corner to the other, grab some ammo, and you'll and you'll kill them all eventually. <laughs> that's been working for me so far. Alright. Wonderful. One thing that I'm noticing is that the textures sometimes don't finish loading. Either that or they are low resolution textures. Like, yeah, they, they didn't load. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, some textures take some time to load. They are just popping in. Yeah, here, as you can see. They didn't load there. <laughs> but there they pop up for some reason. Maybe some optimization, I don't know. Terrible throw. Thank me later. <laughs> oh, almost. Come on. Oh my. Close quarters, not my strong. My, str my strength. Ugh. English, where are you? Gotcha. 
Clumsy rain animation, it looks like it's being fast forward. Yeah, basically. Yeah, this. Yeah, this is just like on the previous games. Yeah, very clumsy. But at least I can go left and right. This on Sniper Elite 4 was a nightmare. I had to move the camera like this. It was a nightmare, yeah. At least here is not perfect, but it's significantly better. That's for sure. Some ammunition. Yes, please. Um, yeah, let's get this one. Um, I'm now going to try 4K. Why not? Let's give it a try. 1440p seems to be okay using medium shadows and medium reflections. Whoa! <laughs> not enough video memory to continue. Okay, the game crashed. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, no big deal. Let's just lower the... Um, what's the name of this? The Taxius at 4K. You need to lower Taxius. Keep that in mind. There is no point in testing 1050Ti in 2020. Uh, if people still have it, I'll still test it. Just like the 1050 Di, the 750Ti, I still test that one. And people still watch it, so whatever. Okay, so the game crashed since I selected 4K and the... Um, the game told me that I don't have enough video memory. Let's try high textures. The draw distance, let's keep it the same. The anti scene, I don't really need it at 4K, personally. No tessellation. And let's keep the most basic ambient occlusion. Medium reflections, medium shadows. And this should give us at least 30 frames per second on the hard parts. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see what happens. Let's launch it again. The problem on Vulcan is on Vulcan, sorry, is that if you run out of video memory, a lot of crazy stuff happens. You basically cannot continue rendering the game, like on the X11. So yeah, let's call this 4K medium. Because why not? And I'm going to fix the frame rate counter. Give me one second, guys. There you are. This blocky frame rate counter. There you are. It's not much, but it's honest work. Anyways, let's try the benchmark tool. It's very, very demanding. The benchmark tool. That's why I'm testing it first to see if it drops below 30. If it tests over 30 on the benchmark tool, we're good to go. So far, we're over 30 in the very first part, so it's probably going to drop below 30 in a few seconds. Yeah, there you go. Already below 30. Yeah, maybe lower settings at 4K is the way to go. Especially here, in these parts, it drops very, very low. But at that point, I don't think it's worth going for 4K. I mean, what's the point if you are going to get worse visuals? If I keep lowering the shadows, there will be no dynamic shadows. There will be no ambient occlusion, that this game really... I mean, it's really noticeable in this game when there is no ambient occlusion, so... Yeah, I think there is no reason to play at 4K, in this card, at least. But you can, if you want. Yeah, here we are. 27 FPS, 23, 22, 20, 19. Pfft. Yeah. 32 frames average. Let's very quickly continue the campaign. Just because reasons, and we'll see. Yeah, I mean, to be 4K is very good. Oh, okay, this part again. Never mind, let's try this at 4K. Let's see if it drops below 30 when I go to this place. And we'll see what happens. Come on, an entire magazine. And he doesn't die. Never mind. Boom. Yeah, don't play on normal, play on hard, please, guys. I'm on fire, literally. Okay, this is the moment of truth. If I aim... Okay, still over 30. Once many enemies show up, that's going to be the real test. Target down. That was a terrible shot. Okay, so basically the benchmark tool is way more demanding than playing the game, basically. I mean, look at this. <laughs> We're up in the upper, th in the mid 30s. Sorry. 
Oh, come on. No, not this one. Okay, some explosions. Wonderful. If we end with a rifle. Okay, still over 30. No big deal. Yeah, 4K is playable. Just expect 30 frames per second on medium settings. And with ambient occlusion enabled, that's a very important. Oh no, I threw a grenade. Wrong button. Ah, I'm such a genius. Boom. Still over 30. Wonderful. They are gone now. I do not recommend playing at 30, personal preference. Because this game requires some um, accuracy from the player. So yeah. As you can see, it requires to be accurate. I can still handle it. But I, I think I'm much more accurate at 60 frames. At least in this game. 2 for 1. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's try the RX-570. Wish me luck with the drivers. That's going to kill me if it doesn't work. So yeah. Okay, let me let me see what I'm doing. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, Alta 4. Now we're going to destroy the drivers. Destroy the child. Destroy the drivers. So we're going to install the AMD drivers. And for that, what I'm going to do is jump straight into the um, into DDU display driver and installer yeah 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 whatever and since this is um, a live stream I need to do it as quickly as possible as you can see here it says 1050 Ti 1650 Super these are the ones installed RX570 what but I don't have an RX570 in the system see this is what bothers me <laughs> Okay, let's remove the NVIDIA driver, the AMD driver, I don't know what's going on with this. It's probably because it detected the cars before. Stupid thing. And let's just clean and shut down. And we'll be good to go. In the meantime, I'll be reading the chat. But yeah, it was in the mid-30s at 4K medium settings, so that's better than I expected. Thanks on Vulcans, thanks Rebellion. ¿Qué dice Atreo? ¿Todo bien? Yo también te quiero. <laughs> That's an amazing combination. The 7400 can handle a 2070 and 2070 before hitting a bottleneck. What? Well, it depends what you're targeting. If you're targeting 60 frames, it should be pretty easy. Then computer... Uh, that's what I thought. And there is no problem with that. At least I got a new RX 570 for half the price. With an overclock, I lost... Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, you can still overclock it, you can undervolt it, very, very easy, at least, well, easy, it depends. But yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with it, if you like to tweak. Whoa. Okay. And now the, the webcam is misconfigured. There we go. And the text is we're swapping to an RX 570, not a 1650 Super. So let's remove the card and keep going. All right. I cannot find it. So here is the 1650 Super. Get out of the way. And we now grab the 570. Okay, and this one has an 8-pin connector, not a 6-pin connector like the other card, so expect more power usage in this case. But I didn't see any 570 with 6-pin connectors, I don't remember at the very least. So yeah, let's now turn on the PC again. Wish me luck with the drivers, <laughs> I'm going to need it. Here I am again. Hello, guys. Good to see you. And okay, I'm going into the PC now. But yeah, I'm going to hide that for now. The 
This is RX 570. Boom, boom. I'm going into the installer. Wish me a lot of luck. I'm sure it's going, something is going to happen. Something. Something is going to happen. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I undervolted, but it didn't help at all. Sometimes with temp are 81 degrees with minus 100 millivolts. I don't think it's that weird. It depends on the ambient temperature as well. But yeah, they, it runs pretty hot so far in general. But I mean, I usually try to bring it to 75, but it's still quite noisy. So yeah. Also, I'm on an open test bench. I'm very, <laughs> I have a lot of advantage on that. So yeah, that helps quite a bit, at least on my side. Always buy the CPU first if you're playing on a big jump. Well, that's true. Well, it depends. If you have a very trash graphics card, maybe a better graphics card makes sense. Yeah, what will go wrong will go wrong. Let's see. Come on, come on. So what's up? Why do we like this stuff? Are we enthusiasts? I'm not sure we're enthusiasts. I wouldn't call myself that. Okay, Adrenaline 2020 edition. I will mute the, the desktop audio just in case something breaks. Oh, recommended factory reset? Yeah, of course. Let's go for it. But as I was saying, it's probably going to get some broken audio here or there and that's going to <laughs> make you deaf for a few seconds get you deaf but yeah i mean there will be a green screen with lines that's what usually happens when i'm installing drivers there's like a broken artifact on the whole screen <laughs> and then it goes away for a few seconds hey what's up mr zero how are you good how are you doing good to see you long time no see does the 2600 worth the extra 15 euros over the 1600 af i mean they're basically the same thing right save the money go for the 1600 af okay it didn't go wrong yet <laughs> wish me luck wish me luck i'm going to need it i'm going to need it I just looked at a video and found this 7400 will bottom like a 2070 so the max upgrade you can do is a 2060 I mean, it depends. If you're going for 60 frames, um, it's enough. If you're not going for 60 frames, well, in that case, if you want 100 frames per second, that will be a bottleneck. And what else? I don't know. I mean, if you're playing at 4K, for example, on the 2070, you max it out 4K on high settings on whatever game, and you're getting 50 frames per second. There, will, there won't be CPU bottleneck there, the GPU will be the bottleneck. But in that case, you're trying to max out the GPU. So it depends on the use case. If you're aiming for more than 60, well, yeah, it's definitely a bottleneck on that one. What bottleneck actually does? Well, usually the bottleneck that you don't want is the CPU bottleneck. You usually want the bottleneck to be the GPU, the limiting factor. So if you wanted to get more frames, in that case, you'll need um, a faster CPU. Yeah, I mean, you need a CPU that is fast enough to keep up with what the GPU is doing, basically. So you don't want your GPU to be held back by your CPU. That's what you're trying, that's what you usually try to, try to do when you're building a gaming PC. Okay, it finished, let's see. Please work, please work. It worked. I cannot believe it. It worked on the first try. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely wonderful. All right. So let's now jump straight into the game. As you can see, I'm using the latest drivers, the Adrenaline 2020 20.2.1 drivers. These are the game ready drivers for Zombie Army 4. So let's get straight into it. Into it. And I'll change the status to 1080p max settings. If, okay, one second, the Epic Games Store is acting weird, as usual. Okay, never mind. There we go. 
So I'll zoom in. And in this case, I'm going to just put everything on Ultra, 1080p. And considering this is a bulk and a DX12 game, it's probably going to be very similar with the 570 to the 1650 Super. That's my expectation. We'll see about that. But yeah, let's disable motion blur and launch. Task manager shows bottleneck, performance tab. Oh, really? That's new. It limits the GPU, so your GPU can run to the maximum it can. Example, your CPU is running at 100%, but the GPU is only running at 70. That's a bottleneck. Good one. That's one type of bottleneck, but yeah. That's the one that you want to avoid when <laughs> building a PC for gaming. You usually want the GPU to be the limiting factor. Okay, we are back into the game. Let's launch the benchmark. Let's see if we stay over 60 all the time, like on the 1650 Super, except in the end of the benchmark. Almost there. Whoa, something crashed. What happened? No, not now, please. Oh, the video memory. Look at the VRAM usage. It's at 3.9 to 3924. We don't have enough video memory. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, guys, so in this case, the AMD card is using more VRAM. That's usually what happens. Let's try high textures. And let's see if that helps us get into the game. So we put high texture quality instead of ultra. But yeah, we don't have enough video memory for ultra textures on the AMD card. So be aware of that. But yeah, sometimes that happens, that you do, sometimes the games use more VRAM on the AMD card. That's what usually I usually run into. So let's see, if it doesn't crash, it was definitely that, because the VRAM usage before was maxed out. Yeah, definitely that. But it uses way more VRAM, as you can see, three point, yeah, basically the four gigabytes are being used. And it's already below 60 frames, so this is a game that ran better on the 1650 Super by a very noticeable margin. I think it's 10 FPS faster on the 1650 Super, but this card is much cheaper, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Depending on the country, of course. But yeah. Still way better than the 1050 Ti, that, there's no doubt about that. If you were doubting be between those two cards, no more doubts. This one is much faster and it's cheaper now for some reason, which makes it hilarious. But yeah, make sure to lower the texture quality on this one, on the AMD card. Yeah, this is another Epic exclusive, unfortunately. Okay, average 60 frames, gotcha. On the 1650 Super, I think it was an average of 73 or something like that. So let's continue the campaign in the same spot <laughs> that I was just a second ago. So we have comparable results at the very least. Oh man, that wasn't good. And if you missed it, the benchmark tool performs significantly worse than the game itself. So be aware of that. That's why I'm testing first the benchmark tool, then the game. So yeah. Come on. Please die. Thank you. Highly appreciate it. Okay, we're getting in the mid-60s. Boom, headshot. Nope. Throat shot. But yeah, we're into the 60s in this part right here with some effects on screen, some extra enemies, plus the zooming in of the rifle. Wonderful. Boom, headshot. Dead. I love the kill cams. So good. Oh, hello. I have to say, I'm much more accurate with the AMD card, <laughs> for some reason. 
yeah, I'm significantly more accurate with this GPU. I can already imagine the marketing. Be a pro with AMD. Well, yeah, on this one, I'll probably disable the obscurance fields to get a couple extra frames. But yeah, it seems to be okay on maximum settings still. You don't need much. GG. Your GPU percentage? 100%. But yeah, it runs fine. At 1440p, you probably want to lower this to a mix between medium and low to get 60s. But I'm going to try that in a couple minutes. Whoa, that accuracy. <laughs> Yeah, it's the, it's the AMD drivers. The AMD drivers make me more accurate, as you can see. Yeah, I'll test 4K after this. But first I need to test 1440p. After that I'm going to 4K. Yeah, but I have to... Oh man, I forgot. The game is probably going to crash if I go for 1440p due to the VRAM usage. Let's see. It's probably going to crash. I'm sure. Let's see. So we are at 1440p max settings now. Give me one sec to fix the status to 1440p maximum. And oh yeah, on the frame rate counter needs to be the easier one. Whoa. Yeah, so you can see what's going on. <laughs> the numbers are so tiny. You cannot really tell. Okay, beautiful. Let's now go back into the game. Let's see if it crashes. Okay, didn't crash yet. Okay, let me restart the checkpoint so I can try this again. But yeah, once I get into the part with many zombies here, that's going to be the test. Basically. Whoa, that was a terrible shot. <laughs> Come on. Dude. Another shot. Come on. Please. Okay, gotcha. So when I'm aiming, yeah, I drop into the 40s, no big deal. It's probably going to drop into the mid 40s with more action on screen. Let's see. Yeah, mid 40s. I can probably fix this by using a mix between medium and low. Let's find out if that's the case. So we're going back into the menu, lowering reflections to low, medium shadows. No desolation or obscurance fields. Uh, let's disable ambient occlusion for the best effect. So yeah, this is basically a mix between medium and low. Because the things on Ultra are a post-process anti-aliasing solution and the draw distance that didn't do much with the performance. So yeah, let's call this mid-low. And let's see if we get 60 frames. Yeah, let's try it out. Okay, this is 60 frames when aiming with the rifle. So yeah, you can do 60 frames, but the game looks much worse. There's no ambient occlusion, no accurate reflection, accurate reflections, no good screen, screen space reflections. <laughs> and there's worse shadows. There's still some dynamic shadows, at least, because we're using medium. But yeah. And there's that guy is waiting for me to shoot him. For some reason. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, this is no... Yeah, so far, I mean, in comparison to the 1650 Super, 
this runs worse to be expected, but I was expecting similar numbers. No much, not much of a huge difference, but there was a huge difference, so I was wrong, but that's fine. You're, I'm usually wrong. Without trying it out first, it's difficult to know. But at least you can do 60 at 1440p if you care about that on this cheap GPU. Well, that's another good point to mention. Yeah, this is slower than the 1650 Super, but it is much cheaper, so win-win situation. Gotcha. All right, let's do 4K just to close the video. Let's see if with these same settings I can do... Uh, the game is going to probably crash now due to the VRAM. We'll see. Please don't die. Okay. It's still holding up there. Wonderful. So let's change the status to 4K mid-low. And I'm going to rescale the FPS counter because it's very tiny and fuzzy. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. RX 570 is the greatest for 1080p. Yeah, for the price, it is. Okay, so at 4K with these settings, we are getting... Hang on, let me restart the checkpoint. Kill this bastard. And let's see if I can see over 30 frames. Now we're sticking to 30. <laughs> we'll see once we get into the part with more zombies. Almost got him. Oh, I failed. Boom, headshot. Almost. Come on. Gotcha. Okay, so now I need to stand right here and aim to the zombies coming there with, next to the smoke. And I'm still worth 30 frames. Wonderful. But something to keep in mind, now that you're comparing it mentally to the 1650 Super, in the 1650 Super I was using higher settings. I was using ambient occlusion, I was using medium reflections, I think, or low reflection, I don't remember. But yeah, I was using higher settings, basically. But yeah, you can still do 4K 30 frames on this card, apparently. But the difference is that you cannot do ultra textures on this card. On the 1650 Super you can on 1080p and 1440p. On this one you cannot. But that's fine, I mean... I don't really see much of a difference in this one from ultra textures to high textures. So it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Boom. Boom dead. So yeah, you can still do 4K. Wonderful. On this cheap GPU. <laughs> Love it. And well, the less said about the 1050 Ti in this game, the better. Which is, which was to be expected. I won't lie. Oh, I can grab the flamethrower. Whoa. I love that. Oh, this is much better. <laughs> Although those fire effects are terrible. Look at this. <laughs> I'm back in Resident Evil 5. Die. Come on. I gotcha. Turn down for what? Uh, this game looks kind of boring. It look it's very repetitive. I'm not going to lie. 
but that's the point of the game is horde mode uh, between different story things going on so if you don't like those repetitious horde mode games you're not going to like this game that's basically it also i'm playing the same section over and over so it looks way more boring than it is and that's the end of the mission beautiful Che, no están en desventaja esos zombies ni caminar pueden ser salados. Bueno, hay zombies que tienen armas, wow. Y otro que tenía un lanzallamas. Así que no fue tan injusto. Ok, we are at an hour and a half. I'm going to leave now. I need to drink my coffee. My coffee. And as you can see, this happens when you are not using the ultra reflections. You get these weird, noisy things. And there's no ambient occlusion. But it's 4K, so just see what you do. But yeah, I think that's about it for this one. I'll be testing it more tomorrow on the usual videos explaining what's going on. But yeah, right now the game runs pretty good on the 570 and 1650 Super on 1080p. It uses way more VRAM on the AMD card than on the Nvidia card, so. If you have an AMD card with 4 gigs of VRAM, use high taxes. And I'll be also testing the 750Ti on this one. So be patient, I have a lot of videos to go through. And uh, gameplay, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this live stream. It was a lot of fun. Game is repetitive, I get it. But if you like Horde mode, this is the way to go. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.